You know what there's always time for? Hamburgers and video games, and you can combine them both here in Burger Time for the Atari 2600. An exciting game where you play a frantic chef armed with pepper who's assembling hamburgers that are ten times his size while running from an egg and a hot dog. Those must be some awesome hamburgers. Running from an egg. Mr. Egg, I believe, is his proper name. And Mr. Hot Dog. Burger Time from Data East debuted in the arcades in 1982, and I'm not familiar with the arcade machine, but after playing this on the Atari, I kind of wish I was. Because the game is actually really cool, it's an excellent arcade-style video game. Now my immediate impression with the Atari video game cartridge was not good, because it comes in one of those cheap M-Network game cartridges that has no picture on it, and generally they make any game look, look cheap and unplayable even if the game inside is actually really good. And when you turn the Atari on and Burger Time comes up on screen, the game itself does not look very impressive. For one thing, the bad guys look like flickering blocks that could be doors opening and closing. I wouldn't even know it was Mr. Egg or Mr. Hot Dog had I not read about it online beforehand. But given the graphical limitations of the Atari 2600, that can be forgivable if the gameplay is good, and it is. Burger Time is a lot of fun even if it looks awful on screen. What really threw me were the hamburger pieces, because they all look like buns, yet when you knock them down they turn into a bun, a hamburger patty, uh, some, some kind of green stuff, presumably lettuce, and another hamburger patty. We'll just hope there's mayonnaise in there somewhere. The Burger Time gameplay, for those who are not familiar with the game, reminds me a lot of Donkey Kong and Dig Dug. If you combined the two of them, maybe it's the ladders and the fact that you knock things down and you can crush your enemies below the gigantic burger pieces. And similar to Dig Dug, you can run away from the nasties who are trying to get you, but instead of being armed with a bike pump like you are in Dig Dug, you're armed with a pepper shaker. Which I found quite creative. What I just did there was drop a hamburger piece onto a bunch of bad guys, scored some points, and then used the pepper spray on Mr. Egg. Or the pepper, pepper shaker on, on Mr. Egg. Sorry. Actually, I like pepper on my eggs. I don't know why that would be harmful. A big difference from Dig Dug is you don't have unlimited weaponry. In this case, pepper. You only have so much of it. The green number on the top left of the screen tells you how much, how much pepper you have. And I'm not sure what triggers it, but occasionally a red thing appears right in the middle of the screen that looks like either a, uh, a milkshake or some french fries or a giant beer. And when you collect that, it gets you more pepper. The music and sound effects in the game get a bit irritating after a while. But after playing Burger Time for a couple hours, I have to say I got into the gameplay. I really enjoyed it. I like the strategy involved in trying to assemble the burgers while running away from the bad guys, and as the levels progress, they become more challenging and more, in more interesting. It's easier for your chef to get cornered on a platform and surrounded by angry mobs of food who are trying to tear him limb from limb. And there's some more advanced burger time techniques that you can use as well. You can drop bad guys while they're standing on a bun, but I, I always tended to screw that up and got myself disemboweled by Mr. Hot Dog. As a fairly novice burger time player, my whole objective was just not to get cornered and slaughtered by food. Which is challenging after a while. This is an excellent game, however there's better versions of it out there. And we'll take a look at the ColecoVision version in a different review. 
And I will keep my eye out for the arcade stand-up Burger Time machine because that's one that I'd like to play because I really do enjoy the gameplay. And I think if you like Dig Dug, you'll like Burger Time. And if it looks like a game you'd like, you can of course find a used copy for a very affordable price out there. And remember that the ClassicGameRoom.net website now has eBay links to every game that we review. And you can search for these games on eBay through our website. And if you want to get one, it helps the show out, helps us pay for the servers. And although it may always be time for Burger Time, they need to make another game called Reuben Time. Where the chef has to assemble gigantic Reubens with sauerkraut and corned beef. Mm. A Reuben may be the only sandwich that comes close to a hamburger. It's a tough call, though. Reuben Time. That, that just doesn't roll off the tongue as smoothly.